Hello crafty friends! My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl, and it is time for one of my favorite videos of the month, the Sheet Load Showcase. I hope that you'll stick around and see all of the wonderful cards that my team of collaborators created this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share a look with you at all of the cards my team of collaborators created with the newest sheet load. Just in case you haven't gotten to their videos here on YouTube, or maybe you're not on Instagram or haven't gotten to those yet. Now, to go ahead and go see those, you can click on the hashtag in the title of this video to see the YouTube videos, and then I have a link to the Instagram hashtag in the description box below for you to check those out. Also down there, I have a link to each of my collaboration team members' YouTube channels and Instagram accounts. If you don't already subscribe to them here or follow them over on Instagram, I know that they would appreciate that. The December 2022 sheet load of cards is a little extra special. Instead of our normal two page printable, there is three. And on that third page, I give you some extra instructions and some templates to get that diagonal piece just right. But I did share a video the other day with some tips and tricks for this month. And one of those was if you don't have a printer, giving you some other ideas of how you can get that angle correct. I also showed you how you could use 6x6 six six paper. In front of me are a look at some of the cards I've made with this month's sketch. Here we have the original one from the debut and process videos. Here is where I did a little live and used some not too shabby papers and ephemera to make a trio with 6x6 six six paper. And down here is a landscape version I made when I did that tips and tricks video. I will have the debut video where you can download the printable, the process video where I show you how I made my first set, as well as these two videos linked in that description box below if you haven't seen them yet and want to check them out. Don't forget if you want to show us your sheet load and share online, I do have some hashtags up here on the printable. And you can also send in a card for the end of the month, show us your sheet load video. I have a video, let's say the word video 20 times, linked in that description box below with all of the guidelines how to do that. I can't wait to see what you've created. Why don't we go ahead and see what the team has created? We're going to get today's party started with Karen Aiken. She has created a set of winter cards. I love those cute little snowmen and how she has used some fun shapes for her various sentiments. Toby from the Biddy Penny channel once again has a unique take on the monthly sketch. Instead of using a diagonal matted strip, she has used some die cut layered flowers in the opposing corners. Yvette of the Yvette Olea Creates channel made a set of elegant birthday cards with the December 2022 sheet load. I love the white and all of the gold foiling. For her set this month, Danny of Danny's Dreams created a set of thank you cards. I'm liking that blue color with the tree paper and how she has used die cut words in place of her sentiment strip. Next up is Chelsea from the Creative Chelsea channel, and she has created cards for a friend. I love the blue and gold on her cards and that delicate die cut snowflake. Ashley from Mint Twist Cards created some woodland winter holiday cards for December 2022. I love that deer background paper and how she has such a wide variety of focal points and sentiments. Karen over at the Karen's Crafting Company channel created a set of black and white season's greetings cards for the month. I like the unique color palette for the winter holidays and those Christmas tree and snowflake die cuts. 
Beth at Bourbon Creek Crafts created a set of seasonal cards as well. I love the pastel color palette, those cute focal points, and that fun sentiment. Amalia, who is Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia here on YouTube, created a set of birthday cards with December 2022. I love the bright colors of the papers and that pretty focal die cut flower. First up on the Instagram team this month is Jessica, who is at Jessie Kate Creates. She made a set of fun winter cards. I'm loving the papers, her use of vellum for the matting, and the diverse focal points. Lisa, aka at Scrapbook Girl, has created a set of Christmas cards this month. I am enjoying the monochromatic blue look and those cute little polar bear focal points. Mariah, who is at Fuzzy Slippers Designs, created this set of gorgeous red and green cards. I love the patterns, that beautiful die cut poinsettia, and the fact that since she left a sentiment off the front, these could be set for any occasion this winter. Stacy, aka Craftaholic Mama, made this lovely set of winter cards. I love the papers and the vintage feel to her set. Barbara, who is at One Busy Bee, used the December 2022 sheet load for this set of Cozy Wishes cards. I am enjoying the muted color palette and those pretty delicate die cut snowflakes. You might recognize this next set of cards from the thumbnail for this month's video. As soon as I saw this set from Noe Me, who is at AZ Crafty on Instagram, I knew I just had to showcase it. She has used those pattern papers in each of the corners and turned them into gifts, complete with ribbons and bows. Such a fun idea. Sandy, who is at Stamp with Sandy on Instagram, created this gorgeous set of Thinking of You cards. I love the pattern paper she paired together and those beautiful, delicate die cuts. Once again, I am wowed by all of the cards that my collaborators have created. They make me and Sheetload look good every month. If you agree, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Don't forget to visit their links and the hashtags now. Everything can be found in that description box below. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.